One idea, one opportunity, or just one connection can change everything. Today, I want to walk you through two very unique opportunities we have created for you. The first is the chance to invest in property in Melbourne's second city. The second gives you a chance to invest into an alternative asset fund that returns an incredible 22.75 per annum. Both opportunities are limited and you must act on this information to take advantage of the benefit we have created for our clients in India, the Far East, the Gulf and Nepal. The city we have chosen is Melbourne, Australia, the most livable city in the world. For the fifth time in a row, Melbourne has won, scoring 97.5 out of 100. We believe the place you choose to invest has a huge bearing on the outcome of your investment portfolio. By following this presentation, you will gain in-depth knowledge of the Australian investment opportunities and you will also get an understanding on leverage to help you maximize your return on investment or how you can use leverage to build a portfolio in Australian property. At the end of this presentation, your consultant is available for a one-on-one -on -one discussion on how to take advantage of all that you have heard about today. Let me help you build the foundation for your decision to invest. Melbourne, the city to invest in. The annual growth for the whole of the CBD of Melbourne averages 11.5. But within the postcode 3000, which is the central part of the city of Melbourne, this averages a growth of over 22%. The median price in Melbourne is over 1.1 million Australian dollars. Melbourne has a median rent of 430 per week and the rental demand is high. Let me summarize this for you. Melbourne shows all the strengths that an investor wants to see. But for many, Melbourne has become an out of reach investment suburb or just a little too pricey for the first time overseas investor. For seasoned investors who have an unrestricted currency environment, investing a million plus dollars could be easy. But for economic environments where restrictions may exist, this amount could be a problem. Also, the median rent may not provide a first-time overseas investor the neutral cash flow that gives a peace of mind. Melbourne, a city to maximise wealth. Our investment fund offers a return of 22.75 per annum for investments between 50,000 Australian dollars to 2 million Australian dollars. How do we offer this amazing return? We do so by what we call value investment asset management. This is done by experience and in-house expertise to establish the highest and best use of an investment site. Our many years of combined investment experience bring out the full potential of the site to give investors the very highest possible net return on equity. PE Capital Australia and PE Capital India bring you a secure investment fund in Melbourne, Australia. Melbourne, a city with strength. Australia is an easy place to do business. We are ranked in the top 7% of countries for overall ease of doing business by the World Bank. With particularly high ranking for ease of starting a business, enforcing contracts and getting credit. We have one of the world's most transparent and well-regulated business environments. We sit in the top 10 countries for finance and banking regulation and for management of financial risk systems. Melbourne is in the state of Victoria, which represents 3% of the total mass of Australia, but contributes 22% of the national GDP. The strength of Melbourne is sustained by a diverse economy and a history of growth and prosperity across many industries. Since its early history, Melbourne has a rich legacy of commercial success. Marvellous Melbourne, as it was commonly known, gives you a great foundation to build your investment portfolio a city in which major international brands have their headquarters. Melbourne offers a complex matrix of road and rail transport considered the best in the country. And as an investor, it helps to know that most investments are close to major roads or rail connections, placing your property in a position central to all local universities and other civic communities that tenants desire. The population of Melbourne is currently 4.4 million and growing as Melbourne attracts mi migrants from other states and also a large number of immigrants wanting to call Australia home. 
It is a city buzzing with dynamic and cutting-edge arts and culture and voted to be the best and most livable city in the world. Melbourne, a city with high rental demand. This is a report that was released not long ago by the Domain Group. Rental tenants are feeling the pinch as vacancy rates rise and hold at their highest ever levels. The median weekly asking rent for houses stayed at a record 390 over the September quarter, up $10 a week from a year ago. According to Domain's group rental report released on Thursday, the vacancy rates for houses also tightened 0.1% to 1.6% over the month, meaning there is now even less choice for tenants. Now this is the type of music that every investor wants to hear. We have a rental market and demand that is the envy of most cities. The current demand for rental has reduced to just 1.6%, which means that only 1.6 investment dwellings out of every 100 are actually vacant. As an overseas investor, this should give you comfort that your dwelling will not struggle to find a tenant. When we couple this with our unique rental guarantee for the life of your investment, then we have an unbeatable offer for you. All this time, we have spoken about Melbourne, the first city of Victoria. But now, let's move on to the opportunity that awaits us in the city of Dandenong. Dandenong has always been the second city of Melbourne and is located southeast of the Melbourne Central Business District. Recently, the government has decided to revitalize the city and has spent an enormous amount of money on building. The Spectra project is just down the road from some of the most modern buildings in Dandenong. Spectra is the first iconic tower to be built in this bustling metropolis. The video speaks for itself, but before we watch this, let me summarize the opportunity. The median price in Dananong is half of that in Melbourne, which means that you can still buy an investment at half the price of Melbourne, giving you the opportunity to enter into the growing second city of Melbourne at today's prices. In time to come, like many of the suburbs around Melbourne, where prices are pretty unaffordable, Dananong should be that gold mine for those who saw the opportunity and purchased at the right time. The growth is below that of Melbourne, but that can only change for the better as more investors see the opportunity and pour money into this second city. The rental yield is double of that in Melbourne, which helps investors to hold their investment with a neutral cash flow. With low bank interest rates, the outflow of monthly interest cost and the inflow of high rental income offset each other. Let us now view the video on the second city of Melbourne. Discovering the next investment hotspot takes vision and confidence. Remember Richmond, Fitzroy and St Kilda back in the 80s? Or Port Melbourne in the 90s? Well, look at them today. It might be too late to take advantage of Flemington and Footscray, but there is now a new Melbourne investment hotspot ripe for picking. Introducing Dandenong, Melbourne's greatest investment secret and the capital of Melbourne's southeast. Known as Melbourne's second city, Dandenong will be an accelerator to your wealth. With an ever-increasing population, the municipality comprises a community with residents from over 150 countries, all needing a house to call home. Only 45 minutes from the CBD, it's a hub connecting the city to the expanding south, southeastern corridor and the Mornington Peninsula and provides residents easy access to world-class education and employment opportunities, including Monash and Deakin Universities, Victoria's largest inland port and a host of national and international businesses. Just some of the investment quick facts on Dandenong include 50% of all properties purchased are apartments. 54% of Dandenong residents are renting. 
Apartment and unit growth has climbed 19% in the last five years. Government has invested $290 million in infrastructure improvements, with an additional $460 million investment from the private sector, and a further $650 million expected of the next decade. Dandenong offers a diverse and vibrant community life that is set for major development and expansion. Central Dandenong and the Market Precinct are currently being revitalised and reclaimed as the southeast capital. Dandenong is also planned to become a major industry hub, including the development of Dandenong Lodges, Victoria's first integrated eco-industrial business park, and Portlink Dandenong, covering in excess of 600,000 square metres of warehouse space. Other major additions to the Dandenong industrial landscape include the Bunnings Warehouse Distribution Centre, Reese National Distribution Centre and the Australian Tax Office. Grocon, one of Australia's largest private construction and property firm, renowned for building the Eureka Tower, the Rialto and the Melbourne Casino, are now well established in Dandenong, with a level of design and architecture that is unparalleled in the region, with the development of the Government Services Office as part of the Government's $290 million revitalisation project. Introducing Spectra, the hottest residential project in Dandenong. This exclusive development is Dandenong's tallest residential building and like Eureka Tower did to the Melbourne CBD, will redefine the Dandenong skyline and set new standards in quality apartment living. Be one of the first to discover this significant wealth creation or lifestyle opportunity. 